Today, I'll be making formic acid from oxalic acid. Formic acid has a variety of uses in organic chemistry, like forming esters. Unfortunately, I didn't find a source where I could buy it, so I have to make it myself. Oxalic acid is much more available and it's also quite cheap. So, we are going to need about 100 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate. Some glycerin, since it's just a catalyst, I use recycled glycerin which I got from my first try of making formic acid. We start by weighting out 100 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate. Note, that you can't use water-free oxalic acid, since water is needed in the reaction. To this, we add about 50 grams of glycerin. Looks nice, doesn't it? I also add some sand, which will lead to even boiling and also helps the reaction forming our acid. Then, set up for simple distillation. We are going to distill the weak formic acid off the mixture. I know, my background doesn't look nice, the table is quite old and the heating plate also isn't new, but everything works quite well. And it's the inside that matters, isn't it? On top, I added a thermometer to see the temperature of my distillate. I also attached a Liebig condenser and turned on the water cooling. Since the mixture is going to boil at about 100 degrees Celsius, you don't need ice cold water. Room temperature works very well. As you can see, I also attached a beaker with some sodium hydroxide solution, which is blue due to some bromothymol blue indicator. In this reaction, lots of CO2 gas will be released, so I want to react some of it with the hydroxide, just for fun. But it'll also help us telling, when the reaction is over, because there won't be any CO2 anymore. So, let's start by heating the mixture on a hot plate. Slowly, this brown mass starts to melt and as you can see, it'll also start boiling after some time. Heat the mixture to 110 degrees Celsius. You might as well see, that CO2 gas is coming off the hose, which is a sign that the reaction has started. A few minutes later, we'll even start getting some of our formic acid product. This is what victory looks like, isn't it? The mechanism of this reaction is very simple. First, the glycerin, which is an alcohol, forms an ester with oxalic acid. In contact with water, this ester again forms glycerin and formic acid. The oxalic acid also decomposes into formic acid and carbon dioxide gas, which explains the bubbling. If we didn't use dihydrate oxalic acid, the ester would decompose into allyl alcohol, CO2 and water. This allyl alcohol is the reason why our acid has to be purified. There shouldn't be much in our formic acid, but there will be some. You can't just destill it off since it boils at 97 degrees Celsius, so we have to use a lead salt. The total destillation took about half an hour. There is a lot of CO2 gas produced. Our distillate boils at about 100 degrees Celsius, which also is a good sign that we are getting formic acid. After some time, the cooling water starts warming up. It doesn't have to be super cold, but make sure it also doesn't get too hot since this could lower the yield. After some time, the CO2 production almost stops. The mixture also doesn't boil that much anymore. When this happens, it's time to stop distillation. It could be that dangerous side products like acrolein form, so pay attention. On the thermometer you can also see that the temperature rises. So, stop heating the flask and let everything cool down. Don't forget to disconnect the hose from the vacuum adapter, because as everything cools down, the pressure lowers and it could happen that your hydroxide solution, or whatever you are using, is being pulled into the formic acid. This would be very sad. And here we have it. We got about 57,43 grams of crude 52% formic acid. This represents a yield of about 57%, in relation to the oxalic acid we used. This method isn't very good, since a lot of the oxalic acid is converted into CO2 gas. But it does work. In a later video, I'll purify my acid using lead nitrate, but since I don't have any on hand, I'll keep it for a later video. Keep doing chemistry.